Good morning. So, well, actually, good afternoon. So today, what I'm going to do is go through all of my hives and get them consolidated down for winter. I've got these little ones, all my, um, these, uh, I can't point in the right direction, but I got these three little ones here, and then I've got all a bunch out there, and I've kind of neglected my hives a little bit this summer and fall. I feel like I've been in there a few times, but not nearly as much as I normally would, and so I just need to kind of see how, how they're doing, make sure that everybody's got queens and house food and I know that I'm probably going to need to do some more uh, supplemental feeding and <clears throat> ideally I would have a feeder in each hive but because of the the cost and the hassle of taking everything apart to put more sugar syrup in there um, what I tend to do is just do do open feeding and I know that's you know kind of a taboo thing for a lot of people but for me, that's just what I have time for. And I have hive gates on all of my hives, so um, I don't really have to worry about the robbing. That just doesn't really happen. I'll have the food right out here in the yard, out in the middle, and everybody just comes and gets it. And with the hive gates, we just don't have a big robbing issue. Um, so, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna check and see how everybody's doing and um, get on with it. Um, I think like I've, where's my chickies there? Hey girls, what's going on? Huh? We have some eggs. So we got chickens this spring. It's been pretty fun and exciting. Um, I made this coop, which is partly why I haven't been really in the hives as much. You know, it's been just, it's been busy. Okay, so we have another egg. Good job. Very nice. They've slowed down a little bit on the laying because we are in the fall now, so the hours are a little shorter and egg production does decrease, but we're getting, you know, probably almost a almost an egg a day. Um, in the in the summer we were getting one from every chicken and even a couple of days we got an extra egg. So somehow one of them laid two eggs a couple of days, which was very odd. But anyway, they, and they have this little tunnel, so if you can see, oh, so we have this tunnel, and it comes out of the, um, and it's kind of just, it's not permanently attached. They can come out of their automatic door in the morning, and then this tunnel leads out to a little corral. And I move the corral and the tunnel around, basically use the chickens to do my weed maintenance. And um, yeah, so I like to, I like to do as little yard work as possible, honestly, because between the birds and the chickens and the kids and gardening and all that, I just don't really feel like dealing with the weeds and and the mowing and everything. So, yep. So, yeah, my yard is a little on the wild side. We got, um, I better get my veil on. The bees have been kind of moody. Right. So, as you can see... <laughs> We, the grass has grown up pretty high. This is the bee bombs here. And then we have dandelions. And we have the daisies. <clears throat> Golden rods. And they have, looks like they've moved that entrance reducer out. So they're, they're kind of cheating and not using the hive gate a whole bunch. Um, and then we have the honeysuckles right there. And uh, this is fuzzy nuggets. Zinnias. Is a hive of my friends. I actually caught the swarm and put it in the box, but I don't know if she's going to get back into beekeeping or not. So for right now, I guess I'm using them and taking care of them. <clears throat> and this is Lily's. Hey, girls. And the oh, Eglantine sun bathing. I love when she does that. She's my big sunbather. She comes out and fans out all the feathers. Likes to look kind of dead. She just loves the sun. 
<laughs> All right, and then the last but not least is my Bearsville hive, and these are the camellias. This is the only one I have that doesn't have a hive gate on it, actually, because I can't put one on this type. This has been the harder colony for me to manage. I love this hive, um, but I'm just not used to this style. So it's been hard to do mite treatments and get them fed and things like that. Hey, you get all those weeds. It's getting to be time to move this again, it looks like. Everything that's left in there is stuff they don't like. So next I'm going to set them up in this area and they can clear all this out. So they'll be perfect. So this is uh, honeysuckles. I just took their lid off. I've kept some peppermint up here, but we had a lot of hive beetles in here. I ended up taking the inner cover and giving it to the chickens and they have cleaned up all the beetles. Um, but yeah, I would say there was like at least 50 or so in here. Um, we've had a lot this year. Whoa. Um, <clears throat> not a lot of bees up in this upper box, but it is full of honey. So I may check down lower and see, you know, if maybe we need to consolidate some boxes here. It's the beetles in these corners. Um, and the bees are keeping them pretty corralled, but we don't need these down in the hives. Yeah, dang it. This is not good. So I'm wondering, they, this box looks pretty full, but let, I'm going to check and see, I don't know whether to take that fourth box off or not. The honey's in there, but not a ton of bees. I do have quite a bit of fresh nectar in here. I don't know if you can see it glistening. So I'm, on, I'm down in the second box. Um, some of these frames are light, so they, they do have space down here. But they are bringing in nectar still, I guess. Not surprising. I thought we were in our dearth. Um, I don't want to take out a whole bunch of frames and potentially disrupt the queen at this time of year, but I just wanted to know if I needed to consolidate, take some of these boxes down. So I might check this bottom box too and see what's going on. So bad news. I've either just damaged the queen in pulling the frames out or she just happens to be dying. But I'm sure I did that. However, I do not see any brood in here either. So I don't know. Um, I was thinking they were queenless. So I started taking all the frames out to have a look. And I found her on the bottom. So, things are not looking good for this colony, and I may need to combine them. I'm going to check this little tiny one over there, and I'll probably have to re- well, I will have to, because she's in no shape right now. Um, wasn't anticipating that today. Okay, so, that's where the daisies was. Basically, I consolidated their boxes. Stacked them and made a huge monstrosity on top of bee bombs. The bottom two boxes were the bee bombs. They're fine. They hardly have any brood either. I'm surprised that they are. They have dropped down so low in brood. I mean, there was like ten cells that had any larva in it. So when I thought that other colony was queenless. They actually had a queen, but maybe everybody's just stopping laying for right now. It's not cold enough. I mean, it's like 75 right now and we're in end of October. Do a paper combine. And then this top box is actually empty. 
but I just used it as a funnel to get dump some of the bees from uh, daisies into here. I know I didn't wait for them to be queenless for 24 hours or whatever, but I'm just, I don't really have time to come back and do this again tomorrow. So <laughs> we're just gonna make it work and hopefully it does. Um, so I'll remove this top box here in a little bit and then, you know, probably wait a week or two and then we'll come back and see how everything settled out and then remove any other extra frames. Hopefully that goes well. And um, I have, I'm gonna be starting a robbing situation here too. So I gotta get on these guys. Um, I consolidated them as well. I took their top box off. All the frames were empty. So I got them down to three going to put their lid on. I didn't even go to check to see if there's brood because I don't want to kill another queen and I'll just have to hope that they are okay. Um, I've been seeing pollen coming in in all the hives but the actually the daisies was the one where I've seen the least amount of, of pollen so I was already kind of suspecting they were queenless to start with and then without seeing the brood I was kind of confirmed until I saw the queen on the bottom of the hive still alive but not doing well so I think that was my fault. Hey so Sunday afternoon um, today is October 29th I'm back out here in my yard uh, yesterday I did a hive inspection of uh, five of my mini hives that we have and um, found out that they were all broodless and so um, I thought well that's unusual and unexpected at this time of year. We are still in the 70s. Um, it's dipping down at night. We've had a couple nights in the 40s, but I mean, they're beautiful days. We should, they're bringing in plenty of pollen. There's nectar in all these frames. So it's not a lack of resources, at least not right now. Maybe, I don't know, maybe a few weeks ago we were light, um, but I'm a little concerned because I feel like, you know, the bees should be ready and getting ready for winter they should be raising winter brood and even though we expect the the brood amount to be declining um you know as we approach winter i i don't think it should be non-existent um, at least that's not what i have found and i spoke to a couple other beekeepers in the area and they have found the same thing so i'm gonna go ahead and um check a couple more hives today and see what i see um and then I know uh, somebody else from my Beekeepers Association is checking a few more of his hives because he noticed seven of his were without brood yesterday as well. So we're just going to kind of see what we see. So yesterday I had inspected the honeysuckles here, the bee bombs. Um, there was another hive there to the left of the other two um, that was the daisies. And I've got two busier hives now, so, so that's good. Um, plenty of activity going on here this is uh the dandelions and here we go the bee bombs so i've seen quite a few bees doing orientation flights today so i think a lot of these uh foragers are from the uh original daisies anyway so that's what we got going on i got the um I've got a smoker set up over here and I'm gonna check out some of these larger hives and see if we see any brood in there. All right, so looks like some healthy amount of bees. They all look well fed. They have nice extended abdomens. Looking pretty good. Um, so that is good news. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up so we can pull some frames out. Okay, I got some nectar in there. Outside as well. Okay, more nectar. The bees have been really calm too. I noticed this yesterday. They didn't have a lot of robbing or anything going on. They all seem pretty content. Uh, got some capped honey there, capped honey and some nectar. Propolis All of my hives, I think I'm better at raising propolis, not raising, but producing propolis than I am honey. Okay, Some more. This one's really good on the hive beetles situation. 
which is a nice change. All my other ones have beetle issues. Now, last time I was in this hive, the brood was all over here to the side. That was nectar. sides there. Looks like the goldenrod flow has been really good for us this year. It's been a nice change because last few years really didn't get much at all in the fall. Okay, more nectar there. Okay, so that's the top box. Ooh, come on. Come on, move over. Alright, one more frame and then we're going to remove this top box. Oh, man, the thing sticks until it doesn't. There we go. Okay. going to be a mite bit heavy to lift. Okay. All right, now can you see that? All right, so here we are in the second box. I'm going to um, get the bees to all head down and then we'll start checking all those out. Oh, dang it. Dang it. I never hit the start button on record. So anyway, I inspected that lower box. There was a tiny bit of brood down there. I would say, you know, small cluster of brood, a couple hundred cells maybe. So <clears throat> that's all I could find. Bees were everywhere. Bees were everywhere and wasn't sure. I think it's robbing actually. I was thinking it was, but I think they all just left the hive and now they're all landing back in trying to go in so hopefully they didn't have the queen exit in all this mess and run out the entrance or something they're really not acting like their normal selves that's for sure i don't know um I'm trying to sh figure out what to do I don't have an inner cover right now. I believe all my inner covers are used up, so I'm gonna have to put this feeder back on the top, unfortunately. Come on, girls, in you go. Let's get this closed up. Look at all the bees. And then they just, this isn't their normal thing, you know? Down you get. Everybody wants to run for the gap. There we go. Alright, All right. hopefully everything's cool here. They're just acting a little bit disoriented. See, lots of pollen going in. I mean, they're definitely bringing in the resources. Lots of nectar that we saw in there. You can tell they're, they have nice extended abdomens. They're well fed. It's warm. It's warm. I can't figure what is going on. Why would they not have more brood? 200 cells of brood is not... Not much, you know, this is a big colony here. Anyway, um, I'm going to check this one as well, see, and um, just so I can say I've been through all these. I'm really thinking I'm going to put 
these guys in that five over five situation. I think that's the best thing to do. They're a decent sized colony. I looked in here yesterday, but again, no brood. All those roaches. I don't get this. I've got a lot of roaches here, by the way. All right. Let's see. Well, let me get. Okay. So I got that, that hive turned into a five over five and um, got all of the nectar in the upper box couple frames empty down below but really that's pretty full of nectar all around um so i'm hoping i'm wondering if that's the issue with some of this um you know where there's broodless situation is so much nectar but i don't have drawn comb i don't have like a lot of drawn comb i can give these these colonies and it's i know that some of them that were broodless also had empty frames. Um, the, let's see, the golden rods down here at the end there, my, one of my mini hives. Um, that one had the whole bottom story, six little mini frames were all empty. They had nectar in the three boxes above. So they, the queen still had room to lay in that one. And there was some space in this one. It's not like any of these have been like chalk solid nectar. But maybe it's enough to discourage the queen. I don't know. But as the population starts dying down with no brood to replace it, we're going to end up with a lot of colonies with not much population and a huge amount of nectar. So with all these hive beetles that we have here, I am worried that this is just a disaster waiting to happen because all of these colonies have a ton of nectar and um, none of them have the brood to produce enough bees. I'm worried for winter for most importantly and secondly to defend the space against um, beetles. So um, I guess I need to think about everything a bit more. I may need to just remove a lot of this nectar, take these frames out, shake out the nectar, and leave the bees to rob the frames and then pack them away for winter so the hive beetles don't have the ability to take over once these populations decrease. <sighs> Normally it's more of a gradual thing. I don't, I've never seen it where we have like five or six frames of brood like we had three weeks ago down to nothing. So normally we see a gradual taper off a of population and we can kind of start removing boxes as needed. But in this case, there's still a lot of bees in there and I can't really see reducing the space. Um, Anyway, if you have any advice, please let me know. I would love to hear your comments. And um, if you live in the Southeast, I would love to hear if you're experiencing the same thing with the lack of brood. I'm really curious. I hope, um, I hope it's just, just a little bit of an isolated thing that we're experiencing here in, um, you know, South of Charlotte and South Carolina. But, um, you know, please, please uh, leave your comments or if you have any speculation. Thanks, bye.